Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming and we're going to do a tutorial on RPG Maker MV on how to operate switches. So we're in a tent here and we have a little passage but we want to make it like a hidden passage. So we're going to use some switch to make uh, some switches to make it so that you have to activate a, a button before you can uh, get down the this, this stairs. So what we're going to do is um, go to our event layer and then we're going to right click on uh, the staircase and then we're going to um, insert a new and then we're going to select a graphic and then we're going to go to the bottom and we're going to find a barrel or something to cover it up so we'll select that barrel and that's all we're going to do for this event the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new event page so on the second page of this event we're going to have a, a transfer so right here when they walk on it um, it's going to transfer them to another map. So we're going to click on uh, the second tab it, and we see transfer player. And then we're going to select a location. We're going to put them in like a maze or something. We'll put them right there, hit OK. And then we'll retain uh, their, the way they're facing, hit OK. And we're also going to go to the bottom where the trigger where it says action button we want this now to be player touch so as soon as they walk on it they'll be transferred but on this one it doesn't matter because there's no contents it's just here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, set it so that when a switch is uh, when a certain switch is on then it's gonna disappear and it's gonna become a, a transfer player so let's uh, select the box that says switch and we're gonna click on the three dots and then we're gonna select the switch and we're gonna just call it whatever trap door or doesn't really matter what you name it but just remember where you put it and then we're gonna hit OK now we're gonna create a new uh, a new event somewhere else where you wanna activate the button that that, that operates that uh, other switch so we'll click over here we're gonna insert new and we're gonna give this a graphic too. go to the bottom uh, all these tile sets that are on the left here you can use them uh, on the event layer um, as as a, an active event event uh, so what we're gonna do is select something that would well everybody's got to eat so he's probably has some sort of cooking utensils and he's gonna hide the secret button with this with his pan here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna set show text and we're gonna say you see a button hidden under the pan flip the switch question mark we're gonna hit OK and then we're gonna show choices uh, yes or no simple thing there if they say no nothing happens if they say yes then we're going to play a sound effect so let's go to audio and video and then play SE and then let's find something that sounds like a switch I think there's actually some that are named switch SW, SSSL. That sounds like a, something that we want right there. We'll go with switch three. And then we're going to go to the tab one and under game progression, we're going to control switches. And now we're going to turn on that trapdoor switch. And uh, <clears throat> then we're going to, um, should we activate the a self switch? Yeah, let's let's. Um, I'll explain self switches too. So when you can control switches like that, they're they're global, and whenever you activate them, they'll be remembered by the game data if it's on or off, and and they can affect other events. If you want to control a switch that only affects this event, then you're going to use a self switch. So we'll control a self switch. Doesn't matter which one you pick. We'll pick A. We'll turn uh, self switch A on, and then we'll op uh, open. We're going to click on new event page on this one. So we're opening a new one and then we're going to give it the same exact image so we picked the one that looks like pots and pans we'll go with that one or it's actually like a pan and some uh, long, big long spoons but whatever and then that's all it's going to do so once uh, we're going to uh, go to self switch on the second tab and self switch A because that's the one we turned on so if when this self switch A turns on it's no longer going to use what's in here it's going to use what's in here so you won't continue to get that pop up. One thing, uh, other thing we have to do is we have to select the select the the uh, the priority of this event as same as character. 
because we're not going to be able to walk on top of the wall so this event is not going to be below our character it's going to be on the same level as our character so we that's important you have to do that and that event looks good so we're going to do that and then let's test it out so let's save it and let's play our game I forgot to start our player party position but I think I'm right outside the tent we're on the world map we're going to walk inside the tent And if we go over here, you can see that there's something underneath this barrel, but you can't get to it yet. So you have to figure that out. <clears throat> when the player finds out that, oh, there's a button hidden, we say no, nothing happens. We say yes. Sound effect plays and the barrel falls down the stairs. And then we're able to go down the stairs. There we are. I haven't made the event that goes back up the stairs yet, but it's basically how you control switches. Um, I can give you another example of how you can uh, operate a switch in this maze here. We'll do a quick transfer event. We just right click on the staircase, uh, quick event creation, go to transfer, select the location. We'll say back here. We'll put him there and we'll say he's going to be facing down. Oops. Direction facing down, okay. Now we're going to right click over, we'll put it on the wall. We'll right click over here, insert new. And then we're going to make it look like a, a switch. So there's going to be a, a blue button, or actually we'll make it that switch on the wall there. And then um, what we're going to do now is when the player clicks on it, we're going to show text and say flip the switch, question mark, show choices, yes or no. If they say yes, then we're going to uh, execute a move event because we want this graphic to change and make a sound effect. So we'll go to um, set movement route and then we're going to make it, let's see, the top graphics is facing down, so that's down, so we want it to go, I think we want it to go uh, left, right, up, and we want it to set it to this event because we don't want the player to turn, we want this event to turn. So what that's gonna do, it's gonna change this graphic from going, uh, this is facing down, this is facing, uh, I think, right, this is facing left, and this is facing up. So we're changing this graphic to go doom, doom, doom. So it's, uh, it, it goes down. Then we're gonna, con uh, we're gonna control uh, two switches. We're gonna control a self switch. But before we do the self switch, on top of this, we're gonna insert uh, control switches. We're gonna create a new switch, <clears throat> called uh, <clears throat> maze switch one and we're gonna turn that one on so it's gonna turn maze switch one on and then it's gonna control a self switch event uh, new event page and uh, we're gonna make it look like the switch but but down so we'll collect that one or select that one and uh, we also want it to be yeah same as character <clears throat> it already set to that one <coughs> Excuse me, and uh, then that's all it's gonna do. You can even say uh, a texture here saying you already, or you can say the switch is stuck because you pulled it down and it, it got stuck. And we turned on the maze switch one, and what we can do right here is we're gonna go to back to the draw layer the and we're going to right click that's going to select the 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 um the tile that whatever we want like if we right click we're selecting the wall here we right click right here we're selecting that you can see what we're doing there but we're going to go back to the event layer we're going to go right here and and select new event and we're going to select the graphic of what we want to block the path with so we'll say that that little thing right there and then basically it's going to do nothing but uh it's going to have a new event page to where if the switch uh, maze switch one is on then it's going to disappear so right here it's like that from default but if the maze switch one is on it's going to disappear <clears throat> and to illustrate that you can operate more than one event with the same switch we're going to create another event right on top of it except this time we're going to select the top half not the bottom half but the top half of this one and we're going to do the same thing new event page switch uh, maze switch one so um, on this one, it's going to look like the top half, and if the switch is on, it's going to disappear. So when we get down into here, 
um, this will block the path but if we hit the switch this will disappear we can get across so let's save the game let's test out all these switches I forgot to make a sound effect on that on this switch, but it's okay. Okay, so we have a bug here somehow. Edit this event. Oh, we forgot to set this uh, self switch A on. So it was it's gonna read the the farthest page to the right, and unless uh, unless the certain conditions are met. So because we had this off, it was stuck to this one. But now that we've clicked this box, self switch A, it should read this page until we turn self switch A on. So let's do that again. You'll have to bug test almost every new event you create, and it's it's good to do bug testing. Anyway. Now it's on the up position. Flip the switch. Yep, and you see how that thing disappeared right there. So we can get across. That's gonna do it for this uh, <clears throat> this episode. Thank you guys for watching. The simple switches, so, uh, really simple video on how to control switches. I hope it helped. Hope you learned something. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you want more content, more tutorials like this. I appreciate everybody. If you wanna, if you if you need help with something and you want something specific, doesn't matter if it's real simple or if it's complicated. Um, not saying I'll be able to do some complicated things, but I can give it a shot and uh, make a special video for you. Just leave a comment below, and uh, I'll see if I can help you out. Thank you guys again for watching, and we'll see you in the next tutorial.